In this video, we'll talk about the aggregate supply curves in the short run and in the long run, and what causes shifts in each of them. The aggregate supply curves show the quantity of goods and services firms produce and sell at any given price level. The aggregate supply curve is upward sloping in the short run and vertical in the long run. The natural rate of output, Yn, is the amount of output an economy produces with unemployment is at its natural rate. It's also called the potential output or full employment output and is determined by the amount of factors of production we use and how we use them, our productivity. Because Yn is determined by the economy stocks of labor, capital, natural resources, and our level of productivity, an increase in the price level does not affect potential output. This is the graphical representation of the classical dichotomy in the long run. For this active learning exercise, I would like you to write down all the factors that shift the long run aggregate supply to the right. Please submit your answers in top hat before moving on. Thank you. Thank you for responding on top hat. Now, this is not an exhaustive list, but here's a few that I thought about. Things that could change the um, long run aggregate supply. Well, uh, baby boomers retiring. Uh, government policies that reduce the natural unemployment rate, all of those are changes in um, the amount of labor available in the economy. Any changes in capital stock or the human capital stock, like more people getting college degrees or factories being destroyed by a hurricane. Also, changes in natural resources, like the reduction in supply of imported oil, maybe a changing weather patterns uh, due to global uh, climate change. Now, any change in technology would affect productivity. All of those things would shift the long run aggregate supply. Now let's talk about the short run aggregate supply. The short run aggregate supply is upward sloping over the short run. We're thinking about within one or two years, an increase in prices causes an increase in the quantity of goods and services supplied. This relationship translates graphically into an upward sloping curve. Now, I want to talk about why does the slope of the short run aggregate supply curve matters. We're trying to model economic fluctuations in the short run. Of course, the model's main job is to replicate the changes in output and employment we see in the real world over the short run. If the aggregate supply curve was to be vertical, fluctuations in aggregate demand would not cause fluctuations in output and employment, as clearly graphed below. Now, on the other hand, if short run uh, aggregate supply is upward sloping, then shifts in aggregate demand do affect output and employment. Without this feature, the model could not serve its main purpose. There are three main theories proposed by economists to explain the upward slope of the short run aggregate supply. There are sticky wage theory, sticky price theory, and the misperceptions theory. I will not talk about each of them in detail. It's enough to find what they have in common. All of them argue that some imperfections, either in human behavior, business practice, or timing, creates a relationship between prices and real output through expectations. An output deviates from its natural rate when the actual price level deviates from the price level people expected. Let's look deep into that idea. All right, to formalize this intuition, let's put it into an equation. So first, we have output, short run output y, and that is a function of the natural rate of output naturally. In here, we have the actual price level and the expected price level. 
there is this parameter a which is greater than zero and it measures how much output responds to unexpected changes in prices now the difference between prices and what people expected prices to be is going to affect how short run output deviates from its long run output all right let's dig in deeper into how prices and price expectations move the short run aggregate supply so here we have a short run aggregate supply and remember it is a function of prices here we have the natural level of output as reference when uh, we are um, at a level of prices that is equal to the expected price level this difference right here on this equation is equal to zero so unsurprisingly we find that the natural level of output is equal to short run output as you can see here on the graph when prices are above the expected level of prices we are in the yellow region on that part this difference right here between the price level and expected prices is positive so we find naturally that the level of short run output is above its natural level when prices are below the expected level of prices again that difference in the equation between p and p sub e is negative unsurprisingly we find that the level of short run output is below the natural levels um, y n now all the imperfections that cause this difference between the expected level of prices and the price level are temporary over time sticky wages and prices become flexible over time misperceptions are corrected so in the long run the expected level of prices equals the price level and the aggregate supply curve is vertical so in this graph notice that when the price level equals the expected price level output is equal to its long run value the natural rate of output in the short run people may be fooled about the price level or they may be locked into wages or prices they were set before they knew what the actual price level would be hence in the short run p may be different from p sub e but in the long run expectations catch up to reality and prices will equal price expectations and therefore the level of output is going to be equal to its natural rate just like in the classical model thus our theory of economic fluctuations is basically the classical model which of course we studied in several chapters augmented with some kind of market imperfections such as sticky wages the impact of the market imperfection occurs only in the short run so in the long run behavior of our models is classical so why does the short run aggregate supply curve shift well first of all because the long run aggregate supply curve yn is part of the short run aggregate supply curve anything that shifts the long run aggregate supply curve will shift the short run aggregate supply also in addition changes in price expectations will shift the short run aggregate supply in this illustration if price expectations increases workers and firms set higher wages at each price level production is less profitable so short run output falls short run aggregate supply curve shifts to the left